All right, good morning. It is 1045 and welcome. Thank you all for coming out. Yeah, woo. <laughs> this is uh, a little aha lightning talk for, for all of you, um, all about social, social media and analytics in social media. So um, it's all about listening to your data. You know, Tableau is all about see and understand. So we're going to kind of take it a different, different approach and talk about listening to our, our data today. So even if you don't analyze social media data, um, maybe you, you might. Uh, but, uh, but hopefully there will be some opportunities for you to, to go aha or have some light bulb moments with your own data today. Uh, so I am Christopher Scott. I am a, the Raleigh-Durham Tableau user group leader. Um, I lead with a, a team of six, so we, we're really excited. Most of them are, are here today. Um, I am also an application development manager and, at Genworth Mortgage Insurance. Yeah, <laughs> my, my team is, is here as well, um, and I, I am also a Tableau user group ambassador, so if you, if you are interested in creating a new Tableau user group or any of the above, uh, see, see me. So you can find me at CG Scott DVA. but without further ado, let's go ahead and, and jump in. Um, so there is a lot of talk these days, and even there's a pin, I don't have my, my badge on, about listening or the voice of, of data. Um, so there's, there's a, you know, even vendors like VoiceBase is here. They talk about the, you know, the voice of data. They talk about listening to data. Um, so we're not going to dive too, too deep into like vo vo uh, voice analytics or anything like that. Um, but we're going to show you how you can listen to any, any bit of data that you, that you have. So let's talk about listening. So we're gonna do a little audience participation. So I need, I know it's, it's 10.45 in the morning. I know it was data night out last night, as you can tell from my voice. Uh, so I need a little bit of help from you all this morning. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is, everybody just say, all at once, just say hello. Okay, all right, now everybody tell me your favorite breakfast food. Okay, uh, now uh, be a little bit louder. What was the best part of data night out? C cereal. <laughs> Did you use the same answer for two? Okay, yeah, there you go. All right. So as you can tell, there was there was a lot of signal coming through. You all were everybody was talking at once. You you know it's really hard to really even piece out unless one thing just kind of stuck out and, and we could hear that. Um, so you know a, a common phrase that's been popularized by Nate Silver talks about the signal and the noise within your data. So within social media, there's, there is a lot, lot, lot of signal, just lots and lots and lots of data coming through. And so it's really difficult to really find key insights, to find the signal within, within our data. Um, I have four children, so I didn't mention that earlier, but there's a lot of noise coming through in, in our house. So we want to help to try and find um, you know, what's important. So everyone has a voice, whether it's your clients, whether it's your customers or whether it's your employees. So we, everyone wants to be heard. This is our, our kind of you know, innate desire. So when we, when we listen, we wanna to listen to these voices. Webster's def, uh, Dictionary defines it as to pay attention to sound or listen to music, to hear something with thoughtful attention or to give consideration or listen to a plea or to be alert hear that, to catch an expected sound or like listen for his step. So there was a, there was a book as I started to, started to kind of get into this data um, and analyzing social media data and really trying to listen for, for those, those signals and all that noise. I came across this book on Amazon. It was, to be honest, it was the first one I found on Amazon. So I downloaded it. I started reading it. And within like the first two pages, this, this passage came out. And I was like, this is just too good to not, to not share with you all. So whether you're, again, listening to the voice of consumers, your employees, he says, he says here in this book, Ted Coyne and Mark Babbitt, they say, consumers want to discuss what they like, the companies they support, organizations and leaders they resent. They want a community, right? That's what we're, we're all here for. Um, and they want to be heard. Consumers now demand the businesses become uh, a compelling experience, which moves the power from the executive boardroom, where decisions used to be made, to the living rooms of everyday consumers. This is not entirely different from what employees now demand too. Both consumers and employees are telling us how, where, and when they want to work with us. They are better informed, they expect more, because they have more data, right? 
and they certainly have the voice to make a strong impact. So as data analysts, as, as customers, as clients, as you know, those people that supply analytics and data, we have two choices here. We can either passively listen, so we can let the deluge of, of noise just come and kind of wash over us, or we can actively listen, and so we can engage, we can be part of the conversation. They say here in that, in that same book, they say we can, we can by choice help to inform, to educate and teach people about what we do, about what we stand for, and about how we plan to change their lives. So we can do all of this through data. Again, th same thing, but we're all going social. So a company that really resounds with all of this, not just passively listening, but actively listening, engaging, is conveniently here at Tableau. So this is why I'm a, I'm a user group leader. This is why I'm, I'm an ambassador. And I believe in the mission of Tableau so much because it's not just something they do, it's part of who they are. And so if we wanna kind of embody that, if we wanna kind of mirror and mimic a company that does it well, Tableau does this. So if it's within the user groups, so groups of people that Tableau facilitates and they support, but they are, they are for the community, by the community. And so they, they're just an outgrowth of this idea of being able to act actively engage and listen. Through social media, Tableau, I'm sure you've seen, we'll show in just a minute, um, the, the Data19 hashtag. Tableau was, was among you know, the top that's actively promoting and engaging with people that not only are they tweeting out, but they are also engaging with people that are tweeting um, with the hashtag. And also, obviously, here in, in the community. And one area on the slide that I did not put in here, but as Tableau seeks to actively engage and listen with, with its uh, customer base on the forums. So all of the things that you all saw yesterday within, for, for the most part, um, on devs on stage, those are things that are actively being promoted within the Tableau forums and the Tableau community. And so Tableau is listening to those things and they are, they are doing something about it. They're not just passively, oh yeah, they wish they, well, they wish they had that feature, but they don't know what they want, so we'll, we're not gonna give it to them. No, they are actively listening, promoting ideas, and then actually developing, taking, taking pivots their, their product integration and saying, well, we thought we were going this direction, but the voice of our, of our community says, no, we really want these things. Dynamic parameters, right? Woo! So, um, so these are just active ways that Tableau is actively participating and engaging with, with their, their customers and clients. So there's another, there's another way we can listen, and that's through, through data. So data has a story to tell, but we can't really hear it if we have spreadsheets, right? So if, I, if we're, we're trying to listen to what the data is, is trying to tell us, we, we can't really listen with, with just a whole bunch of numbers. So obviously that's why you're all here. You're all here for data visualization. So you know the beauty and power of visualization and helping to tell the story within the data. So whether it's through simple bar charts, whether it's through the heat maps, or finally, whether it's through some combination thereof, data visualization helps us to listen better to the data to help tell the story that's in there. So here's what you're all here for. You're all here for the social media analytics. So without further ado, social media analytics allows us to listen better to the voice of the client where the client is. And where people are talking these days is all in social media, whether that's through Twitter, which is obviously very popular here at Tableau Conference, through Facebook, internationally, through, through lots of different other, other channels. So we need to be able to harness the power of all this data to find the signal within the noise. So there are the, the key common questions of data journalism, of the who, so who is speaking, what are they saying, where are they saying it from, when are they saying it, and the ultimate answer that we're trying to get down to is why are, they, why are they talking? You know, we have a voice, but they want to say something. So our job as analysts is to be able to, to get down to that ever important, why, why are they talking? Why are these people sharing with us what they, what they want to say? Do they want, do they want us to do something? Do they want us to change something? And so if we're actively engaging and listening and participating, then we are, we are going to, to use these analytics to help us to drive into the, the ultimate why behind what they're speaking. So within, within Tableau, 
we have the ability to take, to take the data. So this is specifically from Twitter. So we, we can take this data from Twitter and we can analyze it and start to say, okay, well, the who, the who is saying it. So really easily, we can see here, these are all of the, the top Data19 tweets here. So we can see who are the top tweeters, if that's a word, I think. <laughs> um, and then what are they saying? So we'll, get, uh, we'll skip this for now and we'll get that because that drives us into the why. Um, wh what, where are they saying it? So using maps to determine where are they. And I was actually pretty happy about this because the number, the number two spot was actually in Raleigh, North Carolina. So pretty, uh, pretty pumped about that. Um, and then the, the when. So using a simple trend analysis to determine when are they, when are they speaking. And then the, the ever important, what are they saying? So we can use very easily in Tableau, we can use things like a word cloud to, to hone in on what are the, some of the key things that people are saying. But now we really want to get into, and the last, the last five minutes I have with you, is to, dry, to try to drive down and leveraging these tools and resources to determine why are they saying it. So here we have a little simple kind of application like Lindsay created with, with, uh, um, on, in Iron Viz. So I've created kind of a simple application that helps us to drive down and use some simple search parameters to drive down into the keywords that people are saying. So you have a question, you really wanna know, drive down what are, you know, what's the conversation about? So we, we're kind of using word clouds and driving into, into these keywords that keep coming up and up over and over and over again. So we, only, we want to see, obviously, what, you know, what are they saying. We want to know what time are they saying it. But then the, the key piece is to use all of that to drive down into the actual content here. So any of you that have, that have kind of explored into some of the Twitter and Facebook data, know there's, there's, all, there's all kinds of data in there from, as you see here, the, the when they're saying it, the timestamps, the location stamps, the usernames. But the key in all of this data, if we're gonna analyze it, is driving down into the actual status text. So what are, what are they actually saying? And then now that we have tools like Tableau Prep, we can get in, splice out all of that data, bring it back together, and then drive down and pick out some of these key words that help us to get more into, so we've got lots and lots of, of you know, verbiage in our status text, but then we drive down and we say, okay, what, what are they really saying? So it, you don't have to be a sophisticated analyst or do any kind of real deep sentiment analysis with Python or any of those other things to really start to get into some interesting analysis within our data. So that's, uh, so that's what I've done here. I did a quick little, little survey of the data and I said, okay, you know, I see a lot of Data19, obviously. Las Vegas, excited, join. But I noticed this little kind of spot here. I thought it was here. About Fireside. <laughs> so I went and searched for the word Fireside. And I saw, you know, really only two tweets. But they, it was extremely popular. So it had a lot of retweets within the first one. And obviously, it was all about Mark Benioff coming to have the fireside chat with Adam Slivsky. So these were things that really didn't pop up to the surface upon my initial analysis, but as I drove down into the data, I could see that that was a really key piece that as Tableau tweeted that out, people were really excited to hear from all about, you know, we're, we're really excited to know more about this, this Salesforce integration here. So an acquisition, so that was really key in analyzing you know, all this data. So imagine with any of your data about your company, about your business, about just even your, your personal blog, just diving in, grabbing the data from Twitter, being able to use tools like Tableau Prep and then to splice out all of that data in the status text, bring it all back in together, throw it in a quick dashboard. So I will have this out on my Tableau Public. You can find me, same, the same, uh, let's see. Go back to the beginning slide here. Ah. You can find my tablet public at CG Scott DVA. And I will have this workbook for you that you can download. You can bring in your own Twitter data. You can use, you, um, 
you can use tablet prep to do your, your splicing and dicing. Um, but yeah, so I thank you so much for, for be, coming here this morning. Hope you had some aha moments with, with your, where you can find analytics within your social media data or really any data to help be able to drive into and find more, um, just really more depth into, into your data. So again, thank you so much for coming. If you would fill out the, please fill out the survey on your, on your mobile app. And then again, thank you all for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day and go. <laughs>